move is underway tonight to require pit bull owners to spay or neuter their pets. The push for the new law in Contra Costa County comes after a toddler was fatally mauled. KTV's Mike Meback is live now in Martinez with details for us. Mike? Stephen Ayashi is the man that uh, is being charged in this case, Heather, and I spoke to him face to face in front of his house today off camera, and he told me that even though he feels he's kind of being used as a launching pad for this proposed ordinance, he says he does support it. Dogs without homes barking for attention. It's reality inside this Martinez animal shelter where all types of pups, including a number of pit bull breeds, are vying for a new life. I've met many pit bulls that are like the sweetest dogs I've ever like met in my life. We get people who say they are concerned when they see a pit bull um, roaming the street or even on a leash. Contra Costa County Supervisor John Joya is working on a new ordinance that would require owners of pit bulls to spay and neuter their dogs. Joya says pit bulls tend to be less aggressive when they're fixed. The dual objective of this type of ordinance is to limit the already abundant population of pit bull type breeds and to make our community safer. The supervisor says the ordinance, which is similar to San Francisco's, is in response to last month's mauling death of two-year-old Jacob Bisbee. The boy's step-grandfather, Stephen Ayashi, the owner of the pit bulls involved in Bisbee's death, was arrested and charged with felony child abuse. The DA's office has since added a death enhancement charge to the child abuse charge and also revealed that Hayashi's pit bulls killed a parrot, an Akita, and a Chihuahua prior to the death of his step-grandson. Today inside a Martinez courtroom, Hayashi pleaded not guilty. I don't think they should force anybody to do it. It should be voluntary. That's about how I feel. I think it's necessary to spay them if they are not trained properly. I don't think it's right to force somebody to have their dog spayed and neutered because some people do want to have like have puppies running around. I mean, when I'm older, I'm going to want to have a dog that's having puppies because I love puppies. And Supervisor Joya said that uh, proposal could go into effect as early as the fall if the Board of Supervisors do in fact vote for it. Yesterday, Stephen Ayashi posted a $120,000 bail bond. Reporting live tonight here outside the courthouse in Martinez, Mike Meebeck, KTVU Channel 2 